Apple has just released a new iOS 26.3 beta update and here's everything that's new. Let's go. In settings under the general tab, if you go all the way down by the transfer or reset iPhone, Apple has now added this new option for transfer to Android. If you click on it, it tells you to place the two devices next to each other. Click continue, scans your face ID to authenticate and it gives you the ability to scan a QR code or other options as well. And now you can enter enter a session ID and pairing code. This new change makes the iPhone more compliant with EU regulations and now you don't have to download a third party or use a computer to transfer to an Android. In the wallpaper section, they've now separated the weather and astronomy subsections. So before they used to be combined and in addition to that, they've also added more options that you can select from. The sports app has received a new update. So it mentions it's here to help you keep tabs with your favorite sports and soon you might be able to get golf updates as well. In settings under the notification section, there's now a new option for notification forwarding and it says that this allows you to forward your notifications to one accessory at a time and this will be in addition to your Apple Watch since with your Apple Watch that's paired with your iPhone, by default the notifications will also show up on your Apple Watch and the additional accessory that you can now add, but this is work in progress since it's not yet fully functional. This update also comes with a new modern firmware version that's here to fix most of your cellular or wireless connectivity issues that you might have had from the previous version. When you open up Safari after updating, you'll see a new splash screen here about extensions that you can now add to your browser. When you open up the Apple Fitness app, there's a new splash screen that's going to tell you workouts on iPhone, Workout Buddy, Music and Media and Fitness Plus and if you click continue it opens with a new pop-up screen at the top right here and at the same time on the Apple Newsroom you can see that Apple Fitness Plus has expanded to more markets or countries and regions and those include Hong Kong, India, Netherlands, Singapore, Taiwan among others. This exact version came in for me at 8.46 gigs and if you're wondering about the build number you can see it here this is it right here and at the same time other 26.3 beta updates that came out. You can see watchOS and tvOS that I do cover on my channel. And if you're wondering whether you should be updating to this version, I would say not yet because it's gonna be a couple weeks before we get the next beta. So you might be stuck with a bad update for a while. And the official release is going to be somewhere between the week starting January 26, 2026. That's it for me when it comes to this software update. So definitely follow to keep updated.